All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Benjamin, and I'm the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. And yes, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwala, has come out to send a very strong warning to all the judges in charge of the election petition. He said his hands are clean. He said the judges should rule on all those cases without bias. That they should make sure that justice is done. And this message was received, you know, with mixed reactions from the obedient family. Some people are saying, ah, we've heard all this kind of talk before from uh, government officials and at the end of the day they did not live up to expectation but others are saying no let us not judge one person with what others did we are going to give him a chance and with what happened in the judgment of Adeleke at the supreme court uh where the ruling party did not have their way people are now trying to say that just maybe the supreme court may be unbiased but before i break down the details of his statement let me quickly show you what the National Population Commission said about census. <laughs> National Population Commission claim that they have spent 200 billion naira in the preparation for census. Not meal, B, 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 200 billion naira. Oh, when they posted this, this statement on Twitter. When they posted this statement on Twitter, Nigerians came under the comment section and scattered everywhere. People were so angry. They said, what do government officials take us for in this country? That how can you say you spent 200 billion naira on census preparation where you never even reach anywhere? Now they have postponed the preparation. When they resume, they'll say they should bring another 200 billion. People say, what is this? Some people are even angry. They say they should not come and count them. Some say may they not come to their house, can't count them. This one where they don't they put Wuruwuru inside. 200 billion. And, and some people are asking that probe should begin. That they should even stop all the plans of the census and begin to probe them. And we are saying, okay, make we keep our fingers crossed. And let's see how events unfold. Now, back to the issue of the warning of the CJN. I was actually making that statement at a conference. And let me, and let me just read out what he said to you. Now I read, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayo de Ariwala, on Monday urged judges in the country to shun all forms of bias and ensure justice is dispensed equitably on all cases before them. Ariwala, who spoke at the opening ceremony of the Conference of the National Association of Women Judges in Nigeria, stressed that it was the only way to restore confidence in the judiciary. Describing the judiciary as the last hope of the common man, the CJN said judges must strive to interpret the law at all times without affection and ill will. Ariwala said the, Ariwala said the judiciary is saddled with the responsibility of upholding the rule of law by interpreting, construing, and applying the relevant laws. The judiciary is indeed the last hope of the common man, and we as judicial officers you, we as judicial officers must strive to preserve the confidence reposed in us by the society. <laughs> that was the chief judge of Nigeria speaking, urging lawyers to do the right thing. And uh, some obedience said, we don't hear this thing before, Jari. Before you know now, they go still pass back here, go do a thing we know like. But others are saying, no, let us give everybody a chance until they prove otherwise. And press and Personally, I think this statement shouldn't be given a wave of the hand by the obedience because if the principal, His Excellency Peter Obi, has decided to table his petition in court, then you cannot just dispel this kind of statement with a wave of the hand because it will, you know, literally mean that you are saying he's wasting his time. So if you believe that he's not wasting his time, that he actually took the right decision, then you have to stand with this kind of statement made by the CJN. You have to believe in it until they prove otherwise. Now, in other, in other news, something very similar to what the CJN said, another senior advocate of Nigeria sent in a very powerful message that got thousands and thousands of Nigerians talking and it is still about the Nigerian judiciary and it made people to, to you know to begin to feel a sense of hope here are the tweets here are the tweets by Jibrin Samuel Okutepa San he said 
the manner in which we as lawyers keep defending desecration of democratic process with arid legis with arid legalistic legal jargon since 1979 and from 1999 to date is what is responsible for the deteriorating disrespect for sovereignty of the people time for us as lawyers to think twice he said apart from the professional fees we charge is it not time to begin to ask ourselves many probing questions is our conduct contributing to growth and development of democracy negatively or positively how many lives have been lost based on legal contributions to democracy in nigeria hmm. exploiting legal technicalities to install and continue to install and encourage and perpetuate wicked people in power especially those who have no right to be in power as it's a satanic wicked evil and unconstitutional those who violate the constitution to be in power are evils we cannot continue to celebrate wicked and evil on the primordial legal rights as we lawyers we cannot continue to celebrate wicked and evil on the primordial legal rights as we lawyers we owe far more duty to justice than to individual clients we are not and should not be slaves to money and our clients our allegiance is to the constitution and our society hey oh my god this is a senior advocate of nigeria speaking this is the kind of thing the kind of message that nigerians want to hear because this is message of hope at the time of despair because when you go out there and you ask people what they feel about leadership what they feel about you know the justice system in nigeria the answers are always in the negative and that is what the cgn is saying and this is what senior advocate of nigeria jibin okutepa is saying again in this message that the justice system that judges lawyers need to really begin to review to evaluate their character he said are our contributions negative or positive we need to begin to ask ourselves those questions i have never heard any lawyer or senior advocate of nigeria speak like this in this country that is why i am so impressed that was why i had to bring it to four kai uh, jibrin samuel okutepa san i doff my heart for you ah i doff my heart for you a man that stands with justice with truth ah for this guy in nigeria now and meanwhile meanwhile asari dokubo don't come out within talks saying go occupy nigeria until justice is done for the presidential candidates with him they support and for some reason i said no i will not put asari dokubo's video here i will not go exalt asari dokubo let us work hard and pray for a society where people when no suppose get mouth to talk no go get mouth to talk you be better person your hands clean for nigeria you know get mouth to talk now when your hand dirty where all the dirty way they this one fool your hand now then now your pedigree go go up that's why we they hope we they pray make our society make it make it come out for that kind of society where anybody can just come out and say anything he wants to say with his hands full of shit as long as he get money achieve but before then <laughs> make i see enter town make i go get some obonge political news where una go like why because that because of una nah they here so don't go away <laughs> <laughs>